there's a new kind of traffic camera out there, one that can actually detect if you're over the limit. Now, previously, I have covered AI traffic cameras that can spot if you're uh, not wearing a seatbelt or holding and using your mobile phone. Now, there's an even smarter one, and it aims to figure out if you've been drinking and driving just by observing how you are actually driving. Now, this AI-powered heads-up camera system uh, has been rolled out in Devon and Cornwall. It's specifically designed to catch drink and drug drivers in the act. But how does it work? And should the rest of us be worried about getting snapped in error? I'll explain everything right after this. A brown car guy. So imagine you're driving along a quiet Devonshire road when a mobile camera unit scans your car. There are no flashes or any indication that you've been caught. But if the AI detects that something's a bit off, maybe you're swerving a bit excessively or braking unpredictably, it sends an alert to nearby police. Next thing you know, you are being pulled over for a breath test. Now, this is not science fiction. This is happening and it's happening right now. And the aim is to make the road safer during the most dangerous time of year for drink driving, which of course is now, December, by the way, Happy New Year, guys. So these new AI cameras are developed by AccuSensus and use artificial intelligence to spot impaired driving patterns, things like inconsistent speeds, erratic steering, or that telltale weaving between lanes. They're basically watching you for odd driving behavior, analyzing everything that you do behind the wheel. And if they don't like what they see, they just radio the police ahead. Now, I guess the good thing here is that they're not automatically issuing fines. There is a human element of police officers stopping and checking you for sobriety. So say you swerve to avoid some debris or rubbish on the road or break for a small wild animal scurrying across the road, you won't instantly get a notice accusing you of being drunk at the wheel, which is a good thing for those of us who don't drink at all. And also, I gotta say, this is preferable to so-called breathalyzer lockout systems in cars that won't even let you start your car. Personally, I find that a little demeaning. Keep in mind, these cameras are mobile too. They can pop up anywhere without warning. Unlike static speed cameras, these units can be moved overnight. So there's no point trying to plan a roundabout route to try and avoid them. Now, on the one hand, this system is quite brilliant. With over 14,000 miles of roads to patrol in Devon and Cornwall alone, the police do need all the help they can get. But on the other hand, does this tech go too far? Yet another case of rushing into the dystopian big brother future we already seem to be embracing? Here's the thing though. In the UK, we see around 300 deaths a year due to driving while intoxicated and a total of a staggering 6,800 deaths and injuries. Even worse news is, these numbers are going up. The number of incidences involving drunk drivers is now at its highest level in 15 years and drink driving collisions represent 17% of deaths on the road. Imagine all the lives cut short or ruined and families struck by tragedy and turmoil, especially during this time of year with all the festive occasions taking place. The percentage of all casualties which occurred in drink driving collisions was the highest in Wales at 7.3%. This was followed by England at 5.2% and Scotland at 4.1%, which actually has a lower drink driving limit than the rest of the UK. The lowest rate, however, was in London at just 2.5%. Of course, we will see these cameras rolled out in London regardless of that low number. You can be sure that if this trial succeeds, we will see these cameras being deployed across the UK. Frankly though, according to the stats, far too many accidents are caused by uh, drink and drug drivers. So these cameras could be a game changer for road safety. And they're a bit of a wake up call. This isn't just about catching bad drivers, it's about sending a message. If you're tempted to drink and drive, just remember, you'll be seen, you'll be stopped, and you'll be fined, or worse. And one drunk driver off the road could mean one family home safe celebrating tonight. So what do you think? Is this the future of safer roads or are we letting technology take too much control? Would you feel safer knowing these cameras are out there or has this news just made you angry? Let me know in the comments below. As always, hit that like button, subscribe for more car content and stay safe out there. See you all in the new year.
Hi guys, I've been writing. This is my first book, a novel, an all-out action thriller, and this one is a collection of 13 stories I've written over the course of two decades. The Euless Files and The Quantum Races by BC Guy are out now on Amazon.com. Shout out time guys, thank you so much. Hey, if you enjoy my content, why not get involved? Buy me a coffee. You can do that at either of these links. Or if you're watching on YouTube, buy me a thanks or take out a membership. It all helps, it really does.